and the landlord, Kyle. Yeah, Steve, I'm here on Bartlett Street in one of the vacant lots owned by Phyllis St. Laurent, where one of her buildings once stood that was lost in that arson. And for right now, this lot is going to have to stay empty for just a little while longer. I spoke with Phyllis by phone earlier today, and she says she wanted to build a complex here after the previous building was lost. She says it would have been a nice, affordable housing unit on land in part given by the city. But the mayor says that he has enough housing here, and they've actually torn down more than 40 vacant buildings so far. Far. He says he's concerned about building more housing that can attract people from other areas to come to Lewiston and take advantage of public services and cause a stigma for the city as they try to change its image. When we bring these people in here, they, they just perpetuate the, um, uh, the myth that Lewiston is nothing but a welfare place. Now, he says that they've made progress building downtown and revitalizing that area, and uh, they want to continue to make it an attractive place to live. Now, as far as the project here in this lot for St. Laurent, she said she's going to continue with her project on her own, and she's going to continue to provide affordable housing to the people of Lewiston. She said it'll be a win-win. It'll be a win for the people here that'll be able to get home housing that they can afford, and it'll be a win for the city so that they can collect tax revenue, uh, something that they've lost in the event of them tearing down all those vacant buildings. Here in the city. Live in Lewiston, Kyle Jones, WMTW News 8.